Very good morning, friends, and uh, greetings of the festive season. Now that uh, Diwali is over, we have to gear up for the all important GST compliances to be done in the month of November 2023. Most important of them are filing the GSTR 3B of uh, October 2023 in November and also filling in the opening balance of the electronic credit reversal and reclaim ledger. Both these have to be done by 30th of November 2023. Mind that I am using the date of 30th of November 2023 for filing the return of October 23 also. This is because for financial year 22-23, the time barring period of claiming the input tax credit is 30th of November 2023 and not 20th of November 23. Therefore, the law allows you a 10 day window wherein even if you have not taken the decision by 20th of November, you can take the decision on whether to claim or not to claim input tax credit left over of financial year 22-23 by 30th of November 23 and file the return by that date. Important is to understand that uh, interest would require to be paid on the cash component which is paid wide GSTR 3B if you delay in filing the GSTR 3B. However, the input tax credit of financial year 22-23 would not be time barred. You might ask me a question that if I file my GSTR 3 be delayed say by 30th of November 23, then my customer or the recipient of the input tax credit would not get the input tax credit correspondingly in the month of October 23 and he might uh, penalize me. However, please note that there is a relaxation in the law which was notified by rule 37 capital A from December 2022 wherein if you have filed the supply in the GSTR 1 by 11th of November for the month of October 23, then even if you file your GSTR 3B delayed, the customer or the recipient of input tax credit can still take the input tax credit in his return for October 2023 without paying any interest. Third very important uh, point while filing this GSTR 3B is that White Circular 170 of 2022, we have all claimed the entire input tax credit as available in our GSTR 2B in Table 4A of GSTR 3B. Thereafter, we have either done permanent reversal or temporary reversal. Now, say for example, there was an input tax credit when you were not very sure in financial year 22-23 whether to reverse it or to take it. Then your decision may have been to keep it in temporary reversal. This is the ideal month wherein you should take that decision in case you feel that uh, that ITC needs to be permanently reversed. then you need to reclaim it in table 4a, reverse it permanently in table 4b1 and show it as a disclosure in table 4d1. In case you feel that uh, the input tax credit is eligible to you, then you have to reclaim it in table 4a of GSTR 3b and show it as a disclosure in table 
4d1 you might again ask me a question that what about a position wherein even now i am not sure what to do with that input tax credit even now i am at loggerheads with the supplier then would that input tax credit be time barred after 30th of november 23 friends why there might be a different view of the department in this matter our legal submission is that while there is a time barring period for claiming input tax credit there is no time barring period for reclaiming input tax credit so once you have shown it as a temporary reversal then there is no time barring period for reclaiming input tax credit next and last most important is to remember to fill in the opening balance of your electronic credit reversal and reclaim ledger by 30th of november 2023 three important things to remember while doing this we have already have a separate video on our youtube channel where we have described the process in detail but three important things in addition to that to remember while filling up the opening balance first in case you have uh, permanently reversed any input tax credit in financial year 22 23 or till 31st of july 20 3 then no need of showing it as an opening balance of your electronic credit reversal and reclaim ledger on 1st of august 2023 next for the period april to june 22 there was no circular 170 so you might have taken the net input tax credit in your table 4a of gstr 3b now in case you feel that uh, such input tax credit is actually not required to be taken at all then no need to show it as an opening balance on 1st of august 2023 in your electronic credit reversal and reclaim ledger last now say you have shown something in your temporary reversal in financial year 22 23 or till 31st of july 2023 and you have reclaimed it already from august to october 23 even then you need to disclose that figure as an opening balance of temporary reversal in your electronic credit reversal and reclaim ledger please note friends while reclaiming any input tax credit henceforth table 4d1 of gstr 3b becomes very very critical future assessments are going to be done on the basis of these 3b returns gstr 1 return electronic credit reversal and reclaim ledger would become an important tool for the department also to see whether your input tax credit is aligned so please be very careful while filing your gstr 3b and 1 returns and particularly november 2023 return for the month of october 23 and also your electronic credit reversal and reclaim ledger thank you very much for hearing out this video happy compliances going forward please do like share and subscribe to this channel stay tuned thank you